yeah. home. It's like yeah. whenever oil, whenever you put oil, yeah. you, you know what? When you put it, apply it directly on the skin, it goes through the skin and gets to the home. Yeah. So that's the same way the word is. Yeah. When you get in there, apply, when you get in there, it goes right upon you. And just yeah. sits right in, it gets right into your bones and your marrow. Oh, Second Corinthians chapter number two. I'm going to be beginning with reading at verse number 10. Verse number 10. Oh, you're going to understand why I'm going there because we're about to, yeah, we're getting victory today. We're getting victory today. We're getting victory today. In the name of Jesus, I ask that you please stand. Help me, Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to be reading from the New King James Version. I see we have some first time business to God be the glory. Yes, yes. Lord. Yes. It's not that I don't want to acknowledge you. I just, you know, we love you. We just give it to everybody, family. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Second Corinthians chapter number two. Beginning my reading at verse number ten. And the word of the Lord God says, Now who you whom you forgive of anything, I also forgive. Come on. But if indeed I have forgiven anything, Come on. I have forgiven that one that for your sake in the presence of Christ. Mm -hmm. Least Satan should take advantage over us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Mm -hmm. Verse number 12. Furthermore, when I came, oh, oh, drop down to verse number 14. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Drop down. Are we there, 14? Yes. yes. The word of the Lord God said, Now thanks be to God, who always leads us in triumph yeah. in Christ through, through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. For we are to God the fragrance of Christ among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. Father, we thank you for the word today. We're asking Holy Spirit as you move up and down the aisles and touch every man, every woman, every boy, every girl. Minister to our hearts, Lord God. We thank you that you're giving us a teachable spirit. Lord God, we're praying that we can pick up everything that you're showing us today. And we said amen. 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 You may be seated in the name of Jesus. If you're taking any notes today, the word that you are celebrating today is triumph. Mm. Triumph. As you're writing it down, you can touch your neighbor and just say triumph. If you're sitting by somebody that don't want to touch you, you better move. Because you're going to touch them all afternoon. Triumph. Triumph. I love you, but we're going to touch you Triumph. In the name of Jesus. Triumph. And as we're picking up the text today, and the Lord God allowed me, he wanted me to start at verse number 10. You need to get an understanding. This is the Apostle Paul that's speaking here, people of God. He's speaking to people that are just coming in, some new followers. And I thought the Holy Spirit says, in order for us to really get triumph or to get the victory in an area, that we need to understand where victory resides. Amen? You see, victory at times, we look at it as just whenever we're celebrating great things, which is good. But the Lord God said, you must understand that one of the best things that you can do whenever God starts telling us to get excited about, you start celebrating when we start doing what he tells us to do. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, it's yeah. right in the house. Yeah. You're like, well, wait a minute. That's the biggest celebration of all. Yeah. Because when you do what he says, you can get, Lord, whatever's in his hand right. because you've actually done what he said. Yes. You yes. see, the word that the Apostle Paul was speaking to these new followers was something that we don't hardly talk about. And the Lord God said, we're going to go set the people free today. Yes. Come on, yeah. Because yeah. the word says, it says, forgive them. Wow. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That's that bad oh, word right there. Forgive them. Tell your neighbor, forgiveness. Tell your neighbor, forgiveness. Forgive 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 you see, that word right there, a lot of times, we should be better off than where we are, but because we fail to forgive, we get we miss out on some of the things that God says He wants for us to have. Yes. Mm. Oh yeah, this this is a big this is a big girl, big boy. You see, so if you don't have your training pants on, put them on. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get it right because nobody's pancaking today. Wow. We're talking about triumph. Uh, let me give you the definition of triumph. I love for you to take note. To triumph it means a great victory. Yes. Or achievement. Hmm. The Webster's definition defines triumph as a great victory. <laughs> Not just a victory, but a great victory. Yes. Wow. Or an achievement. Put semicolon, great success. Mm -hmm. That's what a triumph means. That's what triumph means according to Webster's definition. But how many of you want the one? I'm going to give you the Bible definition. Yes. Yes. 
The Bible definition of triumph means to exalt in victory. Why do you think we've been to today? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It means to exalt with victory, rejoice over, be elated, be glad. So whenever you see that the word triumph in the Bible, it represents time to rejoice, time to get the victory, time to just start shouting and praising and giving God glory. Come on, to give Him glory. Whenever you see that, that means you to get excited. So whenever you see the word again, triumph, it's not fair for you to sit there and rub your hands and to sit on. No, you should be high five waving, giving God glory because whenever you hear the word triumph, you understand that that's what we're rejoicing. Yeah, Lord. You ever heard praise him in advance? Yeah. See, I believe we made some down payments today. Yeah. Whenever you praise him before the man, praise him before you get That's letting God know that, you know, you really believe you're going to get it. <laughs> it's encouraging whenever you give God glory when all hell is going on. It's encouraging. It's called a sacrifice of praise. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Whenever you're pressing when you, your, your body is saying, not today. Your flesh is saying, I don't have nothing to shout about. But when the spirit of the living God begins to rise up inside of me, it's like fire jumping on the wall. You can't sit still. You can't be quiet. No matter what, you, you have just got to get up and, and just say, thank you, God. Just to say, praise his name. Do you realize that's what he wants? Yes. God's desire is praise. Amen. Amen. Praise our worship. He loved that. That's the only thing he requires for us to do. That's right. Out of all things that we can do, he said, doesn't ask for anything. He didn't, matter of fact, you, he doesn't even make you serve him. He don't make you serve him. You choose. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Yeah, yeah. He doesn't make you a robot and say, well, you gotta go here. No, you can choose. Because just because you show up, that don't mean you here. Yeah. I'm gonna preach that right now. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got a lot of people. You know, what do you mean, Pastor? I mean, you can drive a vehicle. Or you can go into a garage, and that don't mean that you are a Cadillac. Come on, man. That means you gotta exemplify what exactly. So when you come into the house, the Bible says you come in, into His gates with praise and thanksgiving. thanksgiving. So that means you let Him know, Daddy, I'm so glad to be here. I could have been anywhere else. As a matter of fact, you kept me in the right mind, Daddy. You worked a little for You worked a little. Thank you, Lord God. You worked a little hand clap. You worked suddenly. I can get out of my comfort zone and be uncomfortable for you. I don't know about you, but I like to get ridiculous. <laughs> you ain't saying that. You done David tips. I give David a, a run for his money. I'm gonna tell you, he danced out of his, he danced out of his car. I danced out of this pressure in a minute. Because he deserves, he's been too good to me. He's been too good to you too. Amen. And I'm saying that, you know, just to encourage you to understand what real trial, whenever you get a great victory, a great victory means that you've got to, whenever you do, if you don't get anything else, get the point. Yes, Lord. Whenever you give God great, you know, great praise or victory, it's whenever you do what he tells you to do. Amen. And the Lord God saying that the apostle Paul is speaking to them. And he said, now, whom hmm, forgive anything. He's speaking to them and telling them that, you know what? And all he said, if, so it's more or less testing them. Uh, if you really want to go deep, you read all of 2 Corinthians <laughs> chapter number 2. He's testing the new followers. He's saying, now you forgive. Mm -hmm. So it's more like saying, you know, and he said, if you forgive, I'm going to forgive. Yes. Yeah. You, you ever know that, you know, children will mimic what you do? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Am I right about yes. it? You got any, anybody the age of five and up, yes. get ready. Yes. Uh, they're going to do exactly what you do. Yes. 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 And so look at it. He said, so he was saying that. You forgive, I'm going to forgive. He was trying to teach them that, you know what? If you're going to operate in forgiveness, and even though I'm your teacher, but I'm going to forgive too. He was trying to teach them by example, by saying, if you forgive, I forgive. And then you're thinking, well, what does that have to do with my victory? It has everything to do with your victory. Because wow. see, God is calling wow. for us to operate in forgiveness. Yeah. He, I'm, I come to break the neck of unforgiveness. Come on! Break it! Break it! Break it! Break it! Break it. Walking around with all these grudges, yes. you go. The Lord God said, "I come to set the captive free to yes. So you're wondering why you haven't gotten your prayers answered. It might be because you're walking in unforgiveness. You know what the Scripture does talk about? That you know what you gotta uh, forgive the accuser yes. and forgive the abuser. Yes. And you're like, you know, I know that that's not what we really want to hear because, uh, you know, we want to 
tell everybody what happened to us. And I want you to let me put a point right there. Wow. I'm not saying that what the person did to you was right. 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 I didn't say that. Right. I didn't say that the abuse was not real. I didn't say that either. But the Lord God is calling for us to be bigger than that. If you want to triumph, if you want to get the victory, you want doors to open that were opening before, the Lord God said, put all that aside and forgive that person. Yes. Yes. Get yourself free. Yes. Break them chains off of you. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Somebody needs to get some sleep yes. tonight. Yes. Come, Come on. on. Yes. See, unforgiveness will keep you up. Oh. It's your, your, unforgiveness will keep the phone lines hot. Yes. Wow. You know what you did to me? Mm -hmm. Oh, and when some of you just, you know what? Wow. I'm going to put them in the Lord's hands. <laughs> I tell you what, you keep living this Christian walk. You're going to learn. You're going to learn the day. Yeah. Put people in the Lord's hands. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Get them out of yours. Because yeah. you didn't make them in. <laughs> I've learned whenever I'm unable to maneuver or try to work with someone, you know what I do? The Bible says, put them on the mercy seat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I put them on the mercy I, you know, I go that far. I go behind. Oh, no, let me teach that right there because see, we're talking about getting into the holy of holies. That's those individuals that you felt like, you know what, you don't know what they did to me. You don't know how they abused me. You don't know how they, they accused me. You don't know how they lied on me. I know I'm not the only one that's in the house that's never been lied on. You know, you, you don't know that how that person when they left me when I was down. I know I'm not the only one, but you know, everybody has something that may have occurred that caused an issue or caused a problem in our life. And at times we're like, you know, I don't want to forgive him. Wow. Oh, you know, we're going to be good. So come on, Pastor. Yeah. Come on, Pastor. I know I'm not the only one up here. Come that, on. That, that walk come around and say, you don't know what I'm And the Lord God dealt with me. I'm going to be, he dealt with me. Because you know what? The Lord God said, you know what? You're, you're praying for all these things. Let me tell you how unforgiveness can really cripple you. Yes. You see, you and look, look, and we're talking not just for nothing believing. This message is for believers. believers. Yes. Let's make it straight with the love of us. Oh no, no. yes, no, you with your pretty us. You walk around with unforgiveness and you mess around, but yet you hallelujah, but oh no, we're about to get delivered today. Wow. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah. yes. You must understand whenever you're operating in unforgiveness, you can go around and you can pray in all kinds of tongues. Mm. Right, you can pray in all kinds of tongues, you can lift up hands and give God, but whenever there's unforgiveness that's there, You'll find that in your Christian walk, you get to a place where it plateaus. Well, I'm teaching right there. Where you pray that, yeah, God, he saw his mercy. You'll get some prayers answered, some. But whenever you get to that point, you're like, what is it, Lord? You see, you don't have to raise no hand. Just keep looking straight forward so your neighbor won't know it's you. Come on. Won't know it's you that you know that you've been praying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And seeking the Lord God's face, not his hand. Whenever you hear that, you know, seek his face, that you're like, I've been doing that, God. And nothing, no doors are opening in. What, what's going on? Mm. Your Christian walk has just plateaued. Mm. Yes. Wow. And you're thinking, Lord God, I want to go deeper. I want to go deeper in you, God. I want to go deeper. Mm. And the Lord God is saying, you know what he does? He begins to search thine heart. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. He goes to those areas that we don't talk about. Yes. He goes beyond the shout in church. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he yeah. goes beyond... You know yeah, what? That's just great. being alone. Mm. Yeah. He goes beyond love you, brother. Mm. Yes. He get to that place where we got some ugly yes. stuff. Wow. And every believer got yes. it. Yes. Every yes. believer. Yes. We got an area that, you know what? We call them secret faults. Yes. 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 Not everybody knows about it, yes. but yes. Mm, yes. the Lord God knows all things. Yes. And the Lord God said, if you find in your prayer life that everything is just plateaued, you can't seem to go, I I'm just talking about me. I, I, I pray it's helping somebody because... I found that my, my spiritual life wasn't going anywhere. I was giving God glory, but I was like, Lord, God, what is it? And the Lord God said, there's a spirit of unforgiveness. Wow. You failed to forget. And I was like, Lord, I've forgiven everybody. There's an area that you haven't forgiven. You're like, well, wait a minute. Every time I see somebody, I say, oh, please forgive me. He said, I'm going deeper. Because see, some of us, we're good at the what's going on right now. But the Lord God said, what about them things back there? Yeah. Uh -huh. The good old family. Oh, it's quiet now. It's quiet. Yeah, right. 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 It's quiet. Yeah, some quick enough of the babies in here crying tonight. <laughs> but you must understand the Lord God's talking about that. That unforgiveness that may have been back in your past. That individual that hurt you. That person that may have abused you. And I'm saying may have really done that. And the Lord God's saying, you know what? I want you to release. Forgive them. You know what? That 
I just, just get your freedom. And whenever I began to, I said, Lord, I, I, I don't know if I can do this. I, whatever you're delivered, we can talk about it. Yes. I went to Lord, I said, Lord, I, I, I can do all that you want me to do, but that right there, I got a problem. And I'm being honest, I told the Lord it's a struggle. And the Lord God is saying, He said, you know what? When He ministered, He said, until you take care of that, everything that you seek in me for is going to be right here. Plateau. And as the Lord God is speaking to us, I said, Lord, I want to triumph. I want victory. He said, you can shout for victory, but you'll never have it. That was deep right there. You see, I don't know about you, when the Lord God speaks to me, no, He don't coddle me. He corrects me, stir me. Yeah, that's love. And that's what I want about yeah, that's love. Because that, that's exactly amen. That's love. Because he corrects me sternly. And whenever I told the Lord God, he said, you know what? You can release that person. He said, sit him in the chair. Mm, yes. wow. I said, wait a minute, Lord. Wait a there. minute. Sit, sit him in the chair. Yeah. See, later on, as I started learning the word, I understood the chair was the mercy seat. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah, 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 See, yeah, before yeah. I knew the word, I'm telling you, I was much younger. Than, I didn't know nothing about the mercy seat. Yeah. But it was really when he said, sit him in the chair. Wow. Whatever that means, take it from off. Take it from off of me. And put it on the chair. And whenever the moment I began to, and I'm telling you, it was a cry out, it was a weep out of my spirit, man. Wow. Whenever I began to release that and release those individuals and those who lie on me, yeah. those who walk out on me, yeah. those who curse me instead of blessing me. Jesus. All of a sudden, doors started opening. All of a sudden, the area in my spiritual life that I thought could only go here, I was able to go hide. I'm saying that because the Lord God is saying that there's victory in the house for you. There's victory in the house for the people of God. But we've got to understand what real victory is. When we do what he says, wow. tell your neighbor, forgive. 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 Tell your neighbor on the other side, forgive. forgive. The Lord God is telling us that, you know, we need to operate in forgiveness. Yeah. Don't hold grudges. You know, I'm here to tell you, I, I share that to let you know, you're not by yourself. And if you really want the victory, you really want to shout and give God call, it's about operating in forgiveness. And when you do it, and you're wondering, why is forgiveness, unforgiveness something that I need to walk in? I'm glad that you asked. You need to operate in, unfor you know, in forgiving a person because it's Satan's toy. Yes, yes, right. Come on. Satan's talk. I didn't say I didn't say the foot soldier demons. I said Satan's talk. You're like, well, wait, wait a minute. Where does it say that? Get to your word. Look at it. Mm -hmm. At least Satan should take advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. Amen. So that means whenever you operate in unforgiveness and don't want to forgive that person, the Lord God's saying Satan's allowing you to play with this toy. He's actually going to use it against you. You know what yeah. That's what he would do. What he would do. He ain't going to do that up here. Yeah. He's right. not going to do it now today because we're getting free today. Come on. You know what? When you do, we're going to be delivered today. Yeah. We're going to release those individuals that we need to release. We're going to forgive them. Come on. We're going to yes. 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 take every matter, every person, every foul spirit, oh, everything yes. that ever came up Come against on. us in my present and yes, even Lord. in my past. Come on. Yes. 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 I'm going to get some freedom today so I can triumph really. So I can really shout for the victory. Shout for the been set free. Because I'm no longer going to be carrying them anymore. You know what I'm talking about. Because see, some of us, it's been a weight upon us. You can do everything and give God glory, but all of a sudden you got these extra weights. Anybody know what I'm talking about? You can praise them, you can know, but only certain prayers get answered. Well, I don't know about you, but I want every prayer that my Father has allowed me to pray I want to come to pass. I thank the Lord God. We pray take the limits off. Remove any limitations, anything that would try to block it. Well, in order to do that, the Holy Spirit said we're going to go a little bit deeper. We're going to definitely remove unforgiveness. We're, we're going to definitely break that spirit from off of us. Break that yoke that may have been holding us back in the name of Jesus. That, that we're going to release those individuals, any abusers, any accusers, any of those, those individuals that as I'm speaking right now, you can actually see their face pop up. Oh yeah, I know that you are because I see my <laughs> And I'm human just like you are. So whenever I say that, I was like, Lord God, if that's in some of you need to sit, do a good analyst right here and just say, Lord, if this is what's stopping my breakthrough, because I don't want to forgive them, 
Lord God, I'm believing you for miracles, signs and wonders. Father God, I know that you're able to do exceedingly above all that can ask or think. But he's saying, I'm requiring for you to do something in this season. Lord, have mercy. Oh, yeah, yeah. You see, and then this is the type of preaching that most individuals don't like to share because you mean to tell me I got to do something? Yes. You're going to have to do something in this season. If you want real victory, you're going to have to say, you know what? I'm no longer going to walk in that spirit of unforgiveness. I know that they lied on me, but you know what, Father? And you know, in case you're wondering, and you, maybe you're by yourself, let me let you know you're in good company. Because Jesus Christ said the same thing. You're like, when did he say, Father, forgive them? For they know not what they do. So if the Lord God on the cross can actually ask for forgiveness for someone who's right in front of him, Persecuting him and kill. What about you and I? You say you're a follower of Christ? Well, I'm going to tell you, you're going to have to learn how to forgive. Yeah. You're going to have to learn to put them on the mercy seat. Yeah. You're going to have to walk in humility and say, you know what, Lord? And yes, what they did was, you know, and I was real honest as I go back. I was real honest with the Lord God. And that's what God's wanting us to do. Don't come in here and just say, you know, everything. No, Lord God, they did hurt me. Yes. Yes, yes I am feeling hurt. And yes, I, I, I wasn't pleased about what they did. I don't think I deserved that. I was real open with my daddy. And that's what being in a relationship with the Lord God is all about. Yes. Whenever you're in a relationship with the Lord, you can say, tell me all about it. Yes. Tell me how you feel. Don't go up there, well, it didn't bother me. Apparently it does. Yes. Or it did, you just wouldn't be walking with it right now. Yes. You're like, oh, I'm forgiven. I, you know, I'll let them go. The moment somebody bring up that per a, a name that sounds like that name, you get all nervous. Yeah. That means you haven't forgiven. Yes, bro. Anytime somebody, Amen. you know what? I'm going to use my dad's name just as an example. Anybody that sometimes they say the name John, you're like, oh, Lord. <laughs> now, they not, nothing to do with you, but because it's John. Yeah. And you know a John that abused you, yeah. or a John that wasn't right. When you hear that name, you're like, oh. You don't say it, but on the inside, your body's like, oh. Uh -huh. yeah. The Lord God said, you know, you have to release yeah. us from such a shit. But today, we're about to set the captives free. We're about to get free. Because, see, we're not going to let the enemy block us by using his toys. The scripture tells us in 2 Corinthians, the apostle Paul was speaking, and he said, least Satan should take advantage of us. But we are not ignorant of his devices. You must see the enemy when you see him. Stop trying to sugarcoat it and cover it up. Because if you're operating in unforgiveness, that's an area that the enemy is tapping into. Now see, I love this word. You want to know why? Because see, a lot of times we like to say what's external, so on, so did. No, this, this back right here yeah. is internal back. Yeah. This fight right here yeah. is those things that go on that nobody else sees. You can dress it up, but it's still fun. Come on here. Come on here. Come on. You know what I'm talking about? Come on. It, it's one of them pretty fights. Uh -huh. yeah. It's all dressed up, but it's a war going on. on the inside. And the Lord God is saying, you know what? We're going to operate in forgiveness in the name of Jesus. I don't think I even gave you the title of today's message. The title of today's message is, I'm set up to win. Yeah. God okay. is setting us up to win. Yeah, Lord. No matter what you do, God said, I'm putting you in position for your victory. Yeah. You see, yeah. we're gonna be we're gonna operate in forgiveness. We're gonna release those individuals today, yeah. not tomorrow, but today. Yeah. Now, yeah. anyone at the sound of my voice, we're gonna actually today and say, you know, I'm gonna release them today. Yes, I'm putting them in the seat. They're not gonna stop my blessing. Yeah. They're not in this season. Yeah. I got too much to gain yeah. Yeah. in this season. Yeah. 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 I got too many places to go in this yeah. season. Yeah. God's gonna work in me in, in this, this season. season. I'm not gonna let Satan talk with me and mess up my miracle. Who in the name of Jesus? I'm not going to do it. I'm going to be set Come free on. in the name of Jesus. And look what he said. He said, furthermore, and, and he dropped down verse 2. He said, now thanks be to God who always, say your name, always. Always. Say your name, always. 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 Uh, always leads us in triumph. Yes, Lord. God, that's why I said we're set up to win. God would not allow you to be in this place right about now if he thought you were going to lose. Wow. Oh, somebody need to get that about five wow. people should have got that and jumped all over us. Wow. God would not allow you to be. He, uh, he leads us for trying. So that means whatever hell that you're going through right now and all the stuff that you God says, do you realize I got you by the hand. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. And I'm escorting you through this thing. Uh. I'm not going to leave you nor forsake you. Yeah. <laughs> And you're not going to stumble either. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. We're going to make it past these tough waters. Yeah. We're going to get on yeah, the Lord. other side. On. Because there's victory yes, on the other side. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God said he will yes. always oh. lead you. Oh. Oh. Always. I love that about God. God is not like man. You need to know it. Yes. You see, yes. if God said always, that means God is consistent. Yes, Lord. Oh. No 
up in and preach right there. That's the word. Because you know what? That's One it. thing I love is somebody who's consistent. That's yeah. it. Yeah. If you're going to be consistent, you can hang with me. Yeah. If you're not going to hear today, go on, you can hang it up. <laughs> yes. You can hang it up. That's just my own personality. It really is. And you're the same. You're saying that you don't want nobody to know you too. Because you'd rather put in energy when somebody who's there than somebody's not. All right. Talk to me now. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. see, you don't have a problem. With, I don't have a problem with supporting your vision if you consist. Wow. You yeah. see, yeah. the world had to see a mind. Yeah. Help me, Holy Ghost. You know, uh, we need to understand that, see, even in the world, they have the concept that if you try to apply for any type of business or anything like that, you know what they want to know? Will you be consistent at yeah. Is that not right how the world is? Yeah. If they want to, if you're going to do anything, they want to know how consistent are you? Yeah. Are you faithful at it? That's, yeah. that, that's the biblical. Are you faithful at it? Are you consistent at it? And if you are, I can invest in you. Right. You see, if we're expecting that, what do you think about the Father? What do you think about the Lord? He's yeah. like, I want to know, will you be, because see, you want a million, but will you be consistent? Yeah. Will you be consistent with giving me the glory when you get it? Come on. Yeah. Will you be faithful and say, you know what? I've given you glory because, Lord God, it was yours before it was mine. Yeah. Will you be consistent and, you know, will you be faithful to him? Amen. You see, we can say that all day long, but the world has the concept. They will not give you anything unless you're consistent. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if that be the case, the Lord God is saying, I'm ready. And he said, I told you I'm about to pour in this season. He's about to pour out and pour in. Yes. But you know whose picture he's pouring into? Those that have been empty and consistent at being empty. You're like, Lord God, everything I have, you want me to get there? It is. Yes. I pour out so I can be poured into. Yes. I give because I know that you continue to give. Yes. I, I, I give my time because you know what, yes. Lord God, as much as I put out, you will replenish me. Oh, yeah. You can't yes. be God given. You cannot be Him. And I'm just not talking about. Just monetary, like financial. I'm talking about whenever you put time in with God, do you realize the reward that you get? Yes, yes, you yes. see things others don't see. Yes. Right now. Yes. Right now. Whenever you spend some quality time in the Holy Ghost, in the presence of the Lord God, you can do, you'll be telling people, you hear that? Huh? Oh. Yeah. And they'll be like, hear what? You don't hear that? They're like, no, you're the Lord, you, mm. Mm. you be walking about, did you see that? And they'll be like, wait, there's something wrong. No, ain't nothing wrong with your vision, nothing wrong with your hearing. You hearing the Holy Ghost. Come on. Revealing come on, come on. Things, showing you things that have not manifested yet. Yeah, you're on. hearing the sound of an abundant hey, rain. Hey, 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 hey. Man. Come on. Oh. You never even realize that the yeah. gates are open. You see, you gotta know what season that you're in. But whenever you put time in, thank you, Holy Spirit. Whenever you're putting time in with God, when you're saying, you know, I'm gonna be consistent with it, God is surely consistent with you. Amen. So whenever you get there, because there are gonna be some times when you can't get an amen out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You keep living. Yeah, because see, trouble does come to everybody's house. Yeah. Yeah. Trouble is an unwanted guest. You don't want it to show up, and it's always knocking. Oh, Some yeah. turn up like to block the door. We're not having you today. Right. But you know what? It'll come through the window. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody, yeah. anybody know what I'm talking about? You understand? Trouble will not, you're not exempt. I don't care how full of the Holy Ghost you yeah. are. Trouble will still, matter of fact, it gonna hit you first. Yeah. Because it wants to say, well, let's see that shot. Yeah. Let's see that victory pray. Yeah. Ooh, come on now. Yeah. You see, that's how he talk. That's how I hear the enemy. Oh yeah, you were shouting in church, and then he come with his weapon. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? I said to God, I live in trouble. Come on, come on. Jesus. Doesn't matter what you do, you can't take my purpose. Amen. You can't take it. But I gotta, if I gotta get any words out, I'm saying that because you keep serving the Lord God, there's gonna be a time when the only thing you can get out is a mold. Amen. Whenever you go through something, the only thing you can do is just do a, gro a groaning in your spirit. And you know what? The Lord God said, I'm gonna answer that prayer. Yes. Why? Because you put some time in. Yes. He said, I know because whenever you whenever you